Today we're looking at a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure by Ugreen. It's aluminum alloy housing, it's tra travel friendly, and it has multiple OS compatibility, Windows and Mac. Like I said, Thunderbolt 5 M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure, up to 80 gigabits per second transfer speed. Now this comes in a nice aluminum housing. It has passive and active cooling. This is what comes inside the box. You got your accessory box inside there and we have the drive. And you have your typical owner's manual. Everything is packaged nice. The drive itself comes with a silicone enclosure for transportation, transporting so it doesn't get scratched up, scuffed up and absorb shocks and bumps in your bag. Very handy item, very premium looking item. I think the design speaks for itself. It has the gold ribs that are the design standard that comes with Ugreen products, some of them, it's like in their hubs. So the housing is a robust build to it. It has active cooling fan uh, ports in it. It blows air through from one end to the other, keeps your SSD drive nice and cool. Inside this accessory box, you have your screwdriver and your cable, and also a temperature thermal pad, your drive, so that you can keep it cool. And here is your Thunderbolt 5 cable. So this is genuine Thunderbolt 5. So this cable is up to par. The product is Thunderbolt certified, and it has a Thunderbolt chip. Now the size of it compared to my other drive, this is my Thunderbolt 4 drive. It's smaller compared to that and it feels a lot less um, like a brick when it's in your hand. So you're going to throw this in your bag. Now this other housing is very robust but it can scratch things. It can scratch uh, if it's banging around in your bag. This uh, this U green one, when you put on your silicone pad and you throw it in your bag, it's good to go. I'm really, I really like the build quality and the thoughtfulness of that because the other one I really wouldn't want to travel with. Howbeit, it's mainly for my desktop, but what if you do want to travel? You want to take something that's portable, small, doesn't take up too much room, and still has all your, your drive, your, it still has all the room for all your work. So if you want to take your work with you, this is more portable, more handy, in my opinion. So this drive looks to be really built well. Um, it's thought out well. It uh, comes with the screw inside so that you can put your SSD in there. Now I am putting the 990 EVO Plus in there. Um, I would like to try a Pro someday, but this is the one that I have. I had to take it out of my other drive to give this a try out. This showed up this morning. I was surprised to find it on Amazon. What I consider um, most of them are almost $300. So this was $229, I believe, right in there, the ballpark. So I consider it to be less than all the other drives. And it doesn't look like you're giving up quality, build quality, or robustness. I don't see any compromises in the price point on this product as fast or a little bit faster than the one that is built into my brand new MacBook Pro, M4 Pro. So if it's as fast as the, the onboard one, I don't think you can beat that with a stick because it's it's right up there even though it's external. You put your Final Cut Pro um, workload on there and you don't even skip a beat. You don't even know you're working with an external drive. Now, as like everybody says, you can work with a slower drive on Final Cut Pro and, and get along too. But sometimes you just want to take advantage of those Thunderbolt 5 ports that you paid for in your MacBook Pro. So I've been wanting a Thunderbolt 5 product to use with my MacBook Pro. When I saw this yesterday, I thought, wow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and spring for it, have it sent. It was overnight, dropped off this morning. I got it fired up this morning and the speeds are looking good. So I didn't put the thermal pad on there yet because I just wanted to see how it was going to work. The cooling fan is is keeping it cool. It's not getting that hot. And I will be putting the thermal pad on there because I do plan on keeping this. It is a win-win situation for me. And this 
uh, silicone housing, silicone cover is a nice touch. Got the ventilation holes on it and everything. And it for traveling, I just think it's a lot easier than carrying that other big solid aluminum OM, OWC Express 1, 1M2. Now, it is a quality unit. Both of them are quality units. I have some mixed feelings towards a fan. I think fans are better, but I think that they might not last. So I'm not used to hearing some fan noise. Some people say you don't hear the noise. Some people say you hear the noise. I do hear the slight sound of the fan on this. Now look at the speed. 5882 and 5553. I think that is really good. I was hoping for more, but that's what I have. That's what I got. And I don't think between 582 and 600. 6,000 that you could see really see a difference. So it's pushing close to 6,000 on read and write. Very close, I would say close enough. Now this is a 100 gigabyte, over 100 gig folder that I just dropped on here, 251 gigs folders. And you're looking, it says about five seconds and boom. So we're looking at 60, 65, 70, 72, 76, 78. 86, 88, 93, and there you go, 100.64 gig. That is how long it took to transfer that file from the original drive on the MacBook Pro to the Thunderbolt 5 SSD enclosure with the Samsung 990 Evo.